Alright guys, another day, another video, and in today's video I'm gonna show you can make this simple but clean transition in Vegas Pro. Now as always, leave a like, cause why not, and this is how the transition looks like. Cash cow. Me and my gang on a long, long ride, cause we have the side face. Me and my gang on a long, long ride, cause we know life be a water slide. Step on the scene, they are running high. Right, so here I am in Vegas Pro, and if you want to follow the tutorial step by step, if you want to do the keyframes that I do, then make sure you're on 60 FPS, but if you're on 30 and something else, then it doesn't really matter, you're just gonna have to figure some things out on your own. But yeah, click apply, click OK, and you're good to go. So what we have over here is a song and two clips, if it wasn't obvious enough. So what I've done is I've synced the clip to the song, so right now the two clips have no transitions. And we're gonna spice it up so before you apply the transition make sure you apply your effects first so i'm gonna do my velocity and build up an impact real quick so yeah, I've applied my effects and now I can apply the transition effect. So go to video effects and search for BCC lens correction. So it will be this one over here. Now you want to drag that onto the first clip and then copy these settings. So first of all, set it to zero. Make sure it's at the default value. Then you want to keyframe correction, scale master, rotation and pan. You want to lift this keyframe bar up, scroll down till you see BCC lens correction. And then you also want to make sure that this button is picked sync cursor over here. But yeah, go to the end of your clip over here. Then you want to go 25 frames to the left. So double click over here, backspace minus 25. And we just went 25 frames to the left. So place a marker just in case. Then you want to make sure that it clicked over here and then click on this add keyframe button. And it should make a whole lot of keyframes on this point. So now go to the end, then go frame back so that we can see what we're doing. Then set the correction to 100, scale master to 60, set rotation to minus 12. And then you wanna copy these settings, so extend the pan, then extend the lens center. So we're gonna start with lens center. What you wanna do with this is basically lift it up until it says 89 or 90, something like that. And then for pan, you should say something like 75. So as you can see, you're just making sure that you don't really see the black up top or at the bottom. So something like this isn't really visible. So that's fine. And yeah, once you have that done, you want to highlight all of these keyframes that you made. So over here, hold control, select all of them, right click and click slow fade. Now I should slowly do the transition. So now what you want to do is where you see scale master, you want to drag this keyframe a little bit to the right to make sure that it starts a little bit later. And once you have done that, transition should be done. And make sure you just drag this all the way to the back. And there you have the first part of your transition. So now you got to do the same thing for the next one. Apply BC lens correction to this clip. Then set your settings. So correction is 100. Scale master is 60. Now rotation instead of minus 12, we're just going to go with 12 like that. Now don't keyframe anything yet. Expand, pan, expand lens center. And we basically want to put pan to 80. So 0 0.50 and then 0 0.80, just like that. And then lens center, put it all the way to 0 0.90 over here. Make sure you move it around a bit, so this, and then make sure you move pan as well. Make sure there's no black borders around. And yeah, something like this looks fine. So now what you wanna do is keyframe correction, scale master, rotation, and finally pan. Go at the very, very beginning and then go 25 frames to the right. So double click over here, backspace, plus 25 boom place a marker just in case and set this all to the default value so this one is zero scale master is 100 rotation is zero and then pan set it to 0 0.50 whatever this symbol is and 0 0.50 just like that now extend this keyframe tab highlight all of the keyframes that you made like that right click and then set to fast fade. Now it should look something like this. As you can see on the very top corner, there's still some black. So what we're gonna do is go to scale master and drag this keyframe a little bit to the left so that it zooms out a little bit earlier. And it should look something like this, pretty clean as you can see. And yeah, we already have a transition like this. So we're not fully done yet. What you wanna do is make a new video track and this is gonna act as our adjustment layer. So you don't wanna search for BCC lens blur OBS. So this one over here, drag the one onto here and as you can see, nothing will happen. So let me go in the track effects. Nothing will happen. What you wanna do is drag this behind composite so make sure composite is the first thing and as you can see the effect will be applied everywhere on the video so you want to make sure scale y is dragged all the way down you want to make sure iris scale is set to 20 gamma is all the way up and then go to highlights and then highlight boost 
drag that up to something like 140 and it should look something like that. So now we can make some keyframes, go to where the transition happens, keyframe iris scale, and then you should have this keyframe already, drag it to the middle where the transition happens, then go 25 frames to the left, so where the transition starts happening, put this to zero, and then go to the very end, this is where it should end, and then put it to zero, then put this keyframe to slow fade, and then this one to fast fade, and now we should have the sort of blur on the transition, like that. And yeah, that's cool and all, but we can still add some more stuff. So search for levels. It should be this one over here. Drag default one onto here. It might not apply. So drag this one like back and forth and then it should work like that. So keyframe input end over here. Go to where the transition starts, I guess. Drag your first keyframe over here in the middle and then set that boy to 0.5 so it might be too much so you want to make sure it's not too white or so something like this is cool then you want to go to the start of the transition when the effect starts to happen drag it back to one and then go to the very end when it's supposed to end and drag it back to one so put this one to slow fade and then put this one to fast fade once again this is a sort of like a light effect and it should do something like that. <clears throat> so finally, we have the last effect, which is flicker. So search for S underscore flicker, drag the default one onto here. As always, drag it back, drag it in front so that the effect actually applies. Then copy my settings, so amplitude 0 0.8, uh, rand loom amplitude to 1.4, and then rand frequency to 20, like that. So then you want a keyframe amplitude, boom. You want to go to the middle where a transition happens. As always, drag the first keyframe to the middle, go to the transition start, like over here, drag it back to zero, then go to where it ends and drag it back to zero, make sure everything is in place. Now set this one to slow fade, then set this one to fast fade, and then finally, after all of that, you should have yourself the transition effect. This is how it looks like in the end. Now, just so you know, this is not the only way to use the transition. We see lens correction is a nice effect, so you can head on over to lens center and pan and mess with the effect however you want. So you can, you know, make the transition go from the bottom and change the pan like this. And as you can see, now it's going to go to the bottom instead of the top. So yeah, there is a bunch of possibilities with this. And I hope you enjoyed this transition tutorial. And yeah, this was Pixie. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.